What's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. I've been getting a lot of requests for people who have been asking me what clubs I play. Uh, so I thought this was a really good opportunity to tell you what is in my bag that I'm currently using frequently. And also I thought, how about I divert this a little bit to kind of help you out and uh, possibly find out some characteristics that can help you make your game better. I'm going to break down exactly each attribute for the characteristics of the clubs and kind of tell you like what is the purpose of them and exactly what they can do for you. So this is the overview of my bag right now. And we'll go club by club here. You can uh, quickly just see I have my yardage on the right side, but we're going to go club by club here and uh, just do a quick what's in my bag. Currently, right now, I am playing the Tour B JGR, and that's because I've taken like a Bryson approach to it. A lot of these fairways can be a little bit tough to hit, a lot of them narrow, maybe some of them hard. Uh, so the best case for you to score low is to get as far enough down the fairway as possible so that way you have a club in your hand like a wedge or a pitching wedge or a nine iron, something of um, a high a high iron so that way your lie penalty is a lot less. So you can, unless you're like really good with one of these low lower end drivers for their distance wise to pretty much hit every single fairway, but then you're going to be hitting like six irons and five irons into the greens and you're not really going to be able to hold the greens well so that's why i would that's why i'd rather go deep with my driver and then just have a short iron in even though i may be missing a little bit more fairways if i had a different club the approach i kind of go with my whole bag is long and straight so with my with my driver i have my long aspect of it and then with the rest of it i try to really focus on the straight aspect of it going into three wood uh, three wood is the one club that I kind of bounce around between. Uh, I bounce around between just the regular straight up D7 and also this Ben Hogan. Uh, I switch to the D7 because it gives me a little bit more of forgiveness for like a penalty of a yard or two, which isn't really that much. Uh, also, if you want a longer club, highly recommend just the straight up sim. This club is long and the swing plane is big enough where you can pretty much keep it pretty straight and narrow. But the D7 for me has uh, the exact characteristics I need where it can use as an in-between club of like 240. But it also gives me the ability to control and hold the greens. Uh, so that's all what it's all about for me. It's about like that 241. So... If you get the three wood of the, the sim, you're going to get about 248, 249. But really, what is that seven yards in the end? I'm only going to be using the three wood sparingly if like the hole sets up for me off the tee or if I really have to push it down on a par five. I'm not really going to be using it that much. There's going to be a consistent trend going through my entire golf bag, and that's going to push to the second half of this video when I talk about the most important characteristics. Uh, I'm using the Ben Hogan VKTR, and that's a three hybrid. I have this in the three hybrid simply because this is like my my straight 200 yard shot. Like the forgiveness on this is much higher than anything I can get in a three iron or or any sort of four iron throughout the bag. That's like a distance iron. So this club right here gives me a great amount of forgiveness because the big difficulty I find in this entire game is the fact that. The fast and the slow is like inconsistent. So if the fast and the slow is going to be so inconsistent for me, then I need to have enough forgiveness so that way my shots are not going like big draw, big fade, that they're staying pretty much online. Going into the irons, uh, I've played around with a couple different irons. I, I really like the Fort Worth black irons. Uh, these are a pretty good iron, but I currently have in my bag... I have the HBS XX-V A5 irons. And I did this once again because of the forgiveness. When I have the forgiveness like they are, I have the ability to shot shape better than I can with any of the other clubs. Because if I'm shot, I don't do anything crazy shot shaping. It's just like a slight dash left or right. But with my ability to shot shape and have that forgiveness, I can hit a slower, fast swing and it still will stay pretty much on line. And that's something that I really like. Now, if I went to the old clubs that I used, which was the Ben Hogan Fort Worth Blacks, they did have a better distance. So I was using, you know, more nine, eight, seven irons 
rather than the six five irons but uh you can't shot shape with those and they weren't very forgiving so if you hit fast or a, a big fast like it was a big fast so um that's why i've swapped to these the distances have come down a little bit but i can shot shape with these so that way i can hold the greens by adding backspin or flighting the ball shot shaping it into greens however i want the next is my big specialty here and i don't know what it is it could just be me it could just be my love with these things um these wedges right here are like my ultimate chip in wedges like I added these, the Tour B XW-1s. I added these into my bag. They're not the crazy longest. Uh, I'm going to have a slight gap between my pitching wedge and my 9. But every single time I hit with these things, the th the meter is always pretty straight. And even if it's not straight, the ball still goes straight. And that's because look at the forgiveness rating. These things are maxed out on forgiveness. So if you're going to miss some, some greens every once in a while, you want to be able to tr chip in. And if you can move your meter all the way pretty much to the back near the pin and then just swing full have it one hop into the hole i've been chipping in like crazy ever since i equipped these and that's really changed a lot of my scores where it's turned holes where it's like i'm trying to scramble to save uh, par and i've completely changed this to birdieing if i'm slightly off the greens and i'm in chipping range it has also helped out a lot with uh pitching and flop shots uh, flop shot is my preferred choice. I hate pitching. I still can't figure out the pitching. It's it's just so inconsistent for me. But when I do use the pitch, it still carries the appropriate distance, and that uh, is a big thing for me. And so just know, like, a lot of these clubs that I did choose, there's very similar clubs that are just, like, brand name, right? So, like, I can get the Bridgestone or I can get th these ones right here, the HBS XXV A9. The only difference is maybe how many of them they equip. So, like, if you click onto it, maybe these ones only have four, and then you go to the Bridgestone, and this is why I chose these ones. These ones have eight different loft choices for you. So, it pretty much gives you everything that those other clubs have with more flexibility. And that's why I really enjoyed these ones. Um, I have it set up 44 degree, 50 degree, 54, and a 58 degree, and that's just simply because that just gaps out 4 degrees just like I would in real life. Uh, I have a bigger gap between the 9 iron and the pitching wedge, but whether with flighting the ball and shot shaping the ball because I have such a good forgiveness, I can easily cover up that extra 4 to 5 yards that would be uh, a little bit too spaced out for me. Lastly, I just have this putter. Um, this putter just resembles my real putter in real life, so that's just why I have this in here. All my clubs have the murdered out black shafts, black grips. Uh, that's also just a personal preference for me. But that's essentially what's in my bag. And uh, I want to take a quick quick note here because I've kind of like covered it a little bit. But this is going to be something that can possibly help your game out. If you... You have to decide what you want. You want to be a long hitter, so that way you're hitting like nine irons, pitching wedges into the into the into the greens or onto the fairways. If that's the case, I would recommend setting your bag up with something along the lines of a big distance and a big swing plane. So something like where's the Bridgestones? Right here. Right. So if you want a distance, you just want to push it down there as far as you can. You're really good with hitting perfect swings, so like you don't struggle with the fast or the slow. Like you're consistently hitting the 100% white perfect swings. Then you can take advantage of this. You can hit the the big swing plane. Try to get some good distance control so that it holds the greens, and you want to just push the ball as far down as possible. If you're someone who struggles kind of like me with the fast and the slow swings, and you want to uh, just make sure your ball is going at the target more often than not, even if you are not hitting perfects every single time, uh, then you want something with as much forgiveness as possible. So if I go through each of the categories, obviously distance is self-explanatory. Shot shaping is going to be whether you want to shot shape, so your draw, hit draws. It's also going to affect whether you want to hit fades. It's also going to affect how much spin you want to put on the ball, both forward uh, to spin it back and pushing it forward. So you have to decide that. 
The next thing is forgiveness. Forgiveness I've kind of just quickly mentioned. It'll help you resolve the perfect swing. So if you hit a fast swing, the ball won't draw as much as if you have a very low forgiveness. Swing plane is for people who struggle to hit a straight meter up, straight back, straight up. Uh, that's what the swing plane is for. If you're someone who always has like a squiggly line and can't figure it out, definitely you want a bigger swing plane so that way you are not bouncing outside the swing plane and you know hitting these shank of shots. Lastly is distance control. That's how quickly the ball is going to stop when you get onto the green. Um, if if your ball doesn't stop onto the green, you have to be able to play out a little bit of the roll. And that's why I chose these irons. They don't have the best distance control that I was previously using with the Ben Hogan's, but they are a little bit of a shorter iron and I can, I have figured out how much roll I have in this club. So that's pretty much my characteristics. If you have any questions about the most important attributes that I think could possibly help your games, definitely leave it in the comments section. Uh, obviously I'm going to be posting more videos. You'll see my bag throughout the entire time that I play. Thank you so much for supporting. If you guys want to see more of this content or you're new to the channel, thanks again for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and we will check you guys out next time. Thanks. Have a good one.